In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Afterburn to Photoshop action. Afterburn is a Photoshop action that will create a very complex fire effect that you can add to your photo. As you can see this is a result of an image on which Afterburn was applied. This is the result this is what Afterburn 2 has created and this is the original image using Afterburn 2 is very simple you start with your default image basically you open an image a JPEG file or PNG file for example in Photoshop where you have a locked background you use a brush on a layer to mark the areas on the image which will be your subject your area of interest and then you run Afterburn and you will get a result similar to this the result will be entirely unique that is every time you run the action there will be some differences the fire elements won't look the same although they will be placed in the same position okay so to see how the action works I'm going to delete what I have already done so we'll have to load a couple of files we'll have to load the afterburn tube brushes which contains the fire elements and the afterburn action which places the elements on your photo so we're gonna go to Photoshop the brushes and oops not here load some brushes and, uh, and after burn two brushes okay we can close this now we'll have to load the action go to the actions panel load actions after burn two action okay so we have loaded the action it's a folder and it contains three actions this is the main action which we will have to run to produce the effect the main fire effect and we have two other small actions that we can use to instantly change the fire elements to regenerate them into a new look okay before we can run the action we must define the area of our image which we want the effects to concentrate upon so we'll have to create a layer an empty layer called brush and use a soft brush maybe maybe hard one with a white color to paint inside this layer the brush layer to paint the area which we want to retain as this will be our subject I'm going to show this as you can see I have already painted an area 
it is not perfectly marked we could use some tweaking and fill in the area a little better anyway this is not very important so basically we are now ready to go so we will select the afterburn to action and click on play now the action is working it is creating multiple layers with blending options smart filters some layer masks okay and this is our result it was created in a couple of seconds on an Intel Core i7 processor it shouldn't take a long time to complete so what do we have here we have quite some layers but they are all they are they are um, all organized in the afterburn to folder hiding it you can see the original image you can see the background okay the action has kept the brush layer maybe we want to use it later and all the fire elements are contained in these layers as you can see they all they are all uh, arranged in a particular way starting with a copy of the background and continuing with some adjustment layers this layer which it is hidden right now it's called the background darkness control you can use this layer to add more darkness to the background of your subject in this way the fire elements will be more visible and more intense this is because the fire elements are transparent the whiter your background will be the less visible the fire elements will be so you might want to have this dark background on your image it's set on 50% opacity you can make it even more dark or you can switch it off or maybe use a different color let's see or maybe a green or something else you have lots of, pol of uh, color possibilities okay I'll cancel it and keep it off we have a red background gradient which uh, adds more intensity to the central fl flames this is the area around the middle of our subject as you can see it, it adds some uh, diffuse background red light this is a gradient you can play with it you can change the angle or reverse it so in this case uh, the center will be lighter and uh, the rest will be more re reddish maybe you will want to change the color 
Oops. Uh, maybe to a green or something else. Who knows? It's your pick. And there we have the layers containing the flames. There is some smoke behind. There are the main flames, some more smoke, some diffuse light, our subject, which is on top of some flames, but it is partially covered by a few others. This layer called subject darkness control acts to make our subject a bit darker in the center and creates a more dramatic look you may want to increase its uh, opacity for uh, an, an intense fire drama something like this Then we have the flames inside, which are the flames covering part of our subject. They are more visible over his foot, his face, his guitar. We have some small flames, some sm more, more small flames. We have this effect the glowing edges which are these lines colorful lines highlighting our subjects edges as you can see all fanned on we have a hue and sat saturation for these lines Maybe you want to make them blue, or who knows, green. Hmm. Okay, we have the small particles of burning things, and two adjustment layers which control an overall color look it is a soft orange you can put anything you want to matrix style Okay, anyway. And you have a color levels filter which controls a bit of the colors and some contrast. It makes uh, the image look uh, more intense. As you can see, most layers also have some blending options these are very important for the fire elements and we have uh, an inner mask which I will show you what it does And we also have some smart filters. The smart filters, in this case belonging to the glowing edges, control the position and the curving of this effect. 
you can edit it and make it more intense maybe maybe this is too intense so you have a lot of freedom to customize your result and besides that you can instantly change the flames if we use the second action change flames on our result the flames are changed instantly you don't have to rerun the entire action again so if you're not satisfied with your results you can use this secondary reaction to instantly customize uh, the flame position also the third action change sparks will change the position size orientation of the, the sparks the sparks are these minute pieces covering our subject over here so if we click these sparks will look different okay you can run the action again if you want you can uh, hide it hide the folder of the result and run the action again you can do that too, it doesn't matter well I believe this covers most of what is important about this item I believe it is very customizable and uh, should uh, it should uh, suit your needs quite good thank you very much for watching this tutorial